Analog to digital signal conversion includes two stages – time sampling and amplitude quantization. The sampling means a signal is represented through a number of samples taken in equal time intervals. A key issue at the first stage of analog to digital signal conversion – digitization – is to select the analog signal sampling frequency. The higher sampling frequency is, the more precise the digital signal corresponds to an analog one. However, when frequency increases, it causes the following increasing effects. Firstly, digital data rate increases, while interface throughput capacities are limited. It matters especially when a number of channels are recorded or reproduced at a time. Secondly, computing load imposed on digital processors increases, while their computing capacity is also limited. Thirdly, there is an increase in memory capacity required to store a digital signal. The need for a trade-off is obvious. The sampling frequency accounts for a frequency band of produced digital sound and the maximum frequency of an analog signal correctly represented in a digital form. A human ear is capable of perceiving frequencies ranging from 20 to 20,000 Hz. According to a well-known Nyquist theorem, the sampling frequency should be at least twice as high as the maximum audio frequency to reproduce an analog continuous time signal by its samples. The audio frequency that is equal to half of sampling frequency is called Nyquist frequency. This is the maximum frequency to be correctly stored and reproduced by a given digital system. To this end, if a real analog system can be converted into a digital form that has the audio frequency from 0 to 20 kHz, the sampling frequency should be at least 40 kHz. To be on the safe side, CDs have the sampling frequency of 44.1 kHz. Thus, CDs can reproduce signals with audio frequencies of up to 22.05 kHz. This is over and above for even the most sensitive ear.